零一六年科技盛会 CS 消费性电子展在拉斯维加斯圆满落幕。新的一年备受瞩目的产品，首先看到美国新创公司发表的电动概念跑车 FF Zero One。外形未来感十足，可用手机调节车身，监控车况，最高时速可达到每小时三百二十公里。而国际大厂的开发主轴，则是结合自动驾驶与能源的概念，开创纯电动驾驶的无限可能。BMW 推出的最新概念车，以高画质摄影镜头取代传统后照镜，并引进手势辨识系统辅助驾驶人。You see that people、uh, consider the vehicle as part of their whole, you know, daily routine, and it's all about the mobility. So, adding that technology and functionality to the car is critically important. So, this is a very important show for automotive. 去年开始流行的无人机也是一项超级热门产品。今年各式机型齐发，功能更多更进步，令人眼花缭乱。You had better sensors. You had a better camera. You had、uh, better performance by the drone. I mean, this is incredible. It's it's like with computers. Every generation just gets better and better and better. 与无人机类似 ，VR 也来到爆发期。大厂纷纷推出新品，体验区的人们纷纷沉浸在虚拟场景带来的视觉感受。So we're at that point now, where based on screen technologies and processor technologies and everything that's going on. We could actually trick your eyes, and virtual reality will continue to move. 还有一款令滑雪者眼睛为之一亮的背心，只要穿上它，在使用者失去平衡的时候，背心会在零点一秒内充气完毕，减缓使用者在落地时的撞击力道。另外，还有超大屏幕的智慧冰箱，内建摄影机，用手机就可以看到冰箱内的东西。还可以帮忙列出采购清单，作为留言便利贴、查师傅等等，俨然是家中大小事的连线中心。智慧生活与娱乐应用的大趋势，已一步步改变民众的未来生活。